Hi, welcome to my channel, and this is a real challenging video. And today is uh, still 10x for Warlord and Soulless, and also another event that is uh, getting uh, Vizier. Also, same time, there's also Clan vs. Clan, so a lot of things going on. Uh, if you quickly go to Clan vs. Clan here, first rewards are gone, and uh, yeah, our clan is uh, behind 100,000 But this clan is called Korea clan, so hopefully there's a time difference, but They all should be asleep now, so I think uh, we can get some points here and then tomorrow it's gonna be Very hard for us because uh, It's gonna be in the afternoon for them But as you can see I'm doing quite well, but yeah, the rest of the team is quite struggling But if we can if we can win this, I'll be very happy, but it all depends on how much I'll put on effort I'll make tonight. Right. Uh, for the actual event, uh, as you can see, I have only 9 Void Shards. And uh, regarding Vizier, uh, uh, I got Vizier quite early, quite early in this game. I have two of them. And I used to use Vizier a lot. Vizier is, uh, is all about this A1. Attacks one enemy three times. Each have, if you buff it up, it's gonna be 50 chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs and by one turn, which is very good for clan boss. And we just also using other places like I use him in Doom Tower for Scarab King. And then you can, but I don't think it's be as good as before because. Uh, now there's a lot of different clan boss setups and like if I go, if I go to my own uh, clan boss here, I don't, I don't uh, see I don't use Vizier and uh, before a lot of people used to use Vizier but nowadays it's yeah it's just one person using here he kind of fed up the meta so so I don't think that uh, he's worth 111 ancient shards really uh, i don't really think so it was if it was like great more or something else the good thing is that two weeks ago not one month ago lady kim was 150 ancient shards but that was a new legendary but the good thing is that is now it's 111 which means that uh, it's, it's getting lower hopefully so this is my vizier so i used it for scarab king on the last iteration so so I don't use him that often really, it's usually clan boss or sometimes doom tower. So if you're a new player, I'll probably save those 111 ancient shards to the 2x, it's gonna be 2x on Friday. Which I'm gonna be opening hopefully over 120. So I think it's better to do it with the 2x, unless uh, you really really need him for clan boss. Uh, outside clan boss, it's not worth it. So if you go to the actual... Two important things here is that I don't have Warlord, uh, I don't have uh, Soulless. Yeah, Warlord's probably top 5 best champions in the game in PvP wise. All the Platinum people use uh, Warlord. If, you, if you're gonna go quickly here, that the one is alright. Attack on enemy has to, uh, it's gonna be 40% chance increase in duration of all debuffs one target one time. It's all right, and this one's also very good. Uh, place block debuff on all our left one turn, and places sh shield buff equal to the Chevy's max HP for two turns. Let's see, it's all allies, which, be, which means that it's quite good, like in our site, in dungeons, in Doom Tower. Helpful, and then here is the actual thing here for the PvP. Attack all enemies has. If you book it, 100% chance to put each target skills on cooldown. Plus has 30% chance to deplete each target's turn meter. But put things on cooldown is very good, which means that if you, you do it first, they cannot use the A2, A3, they, just, they can just use the A1, and then after 2-3 turns, they're dead anyway. So if, you have, if you're fast, you can just put it on the enemy out nothing you can do about it and soulless is a nuker uh, one of the few very good uh, defensive nukers 
And it's also quite good match with C Thief because you have defense. But in this game, Thief has a lot of nukers, but uh, you just avoid the defensive nuker. We go quickly that tech one enemy has uh, is going to be 50 chance of press stun before for one on turn. Okay. And then attacks three times random each time has uh, one of sense uh, to move up. Let's provoke the weapon on turn if the buff is removed. Quite good. And this one is hits very hard. Attacks all enemies increases the duration of all debuffs each target on one turn. The place provoke before all enemies. Place a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to certain damage inflicted. Then increase the percent of each debuff on the target. So this one's uh, it's quite very hard. He, I'll probably put him on top 10 nukers in the game. Defensive nukers is probably 2-3. He's very good, but I'm not opening my void charge for him. I'm opening it for Warlord. If I get him, I'll be happy. Because it's always good having a void nukers, because uh, there will be no weak hits on it. But... Uh, on the last uh, 2x I opened 47, I didn't get anything, and for that I opened a little bit more. So I'll, I'm not close to Mercy system at all, uh, so I'm, let's say, halfway. So I'm thinking if it's really worth it to open or not. I still let now, I saw this video, I'm gonna open it, but... Uh, first, let's do some random pulls here. I see some people doing this, so... Okay, so... Warlord... Solus... Sifi... Uh, Hegemon... Yeah, there's a lot. So many good, good world ones. Okay. As I said, I don't expect to uh, get anything, because I only had 9 of them. Plus, I'm not even close to the Mercy, so... So this is just a bit of uh, entertainment to me. Trip up is such a way now. That At least I'm getting some points for the clan, clan versus clan. Oh, cool lord, I have so many of them. But it's uh, still uh, one of the best uh, picks in the game. Because so, so old people don't have a rate. Painkeeper also very good. And here's the last one. Bye bye. Ox. Yeah. Uh, too bad anyway, I tried. Uh, but. Because uh, still, it's only like half percent chance. So, uh, usually, I wouldn't need to open it or start to X, but it's just that I don't. I just need good PvP. I have some void ones, but it's like I don't have a warlord will make such a difference and hegemon and Chris. There's so many void legendaries which I don't have, which I need. But yeah, is what it is anyway. So uh thanks for watching and hopefully you will get Solus, Warlord Hegemon and uh, don't open too many of them. If I had like 50, 60 wouldn't open them, but John just had 9, 10, that's what opened them. See you next video. Bye bye.